Hi, everyone. My name is King Ivy, and this is Introduction to Idea Data Analysis. And this is the final lesson, series of nine lessons in this in this idea tutorial. And today we're going to be covering statistical analysis. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous eight videos, I highly recommend that you watch those before you watch this video. But let's go ahead and get started. So here I have country admissions, and I'm going to bring in the world admissions data set. So you, if this doesn't look familiar, or not the actual exact process I'm doing, but the, the techniques I'm performing, then I highly recommend that you check out the other videos. And now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to combine, I'm just going to get rid of this filter, and I'm going to combine this country admission data with the world total admission. And I'm going to use that by doing a join. In this case, I only want total, and I'm going to call this country emission with world totals. I'm just going to do a matches only. Okay, I forgot to include the match, which I'm going to do based off a of year. And now what I want to do is I'm going to correlate each country's performance compared to the rest of the world. So here I'm going to do a simple correlation. And I'm going to do it based off of carbon and total. I'm going to select my audit units. In this case, I'm going to include them all. I'm also going to create a separate database here. So I'm going to call this country versus total. I'm going to go ahead and create results. So it's showing the result right now. I'm going to go to the table. I like going through the table because it's finding it a little bit easier to navigate. You'll see here. Belgium is really negatively correlated while China is really positively correlated with so each country's carbon emission is highly highly or negatively or not correlated at all so in this case Belgium is going in the opposite direction of the world uh, in terms of world total emissions so I'm guessing that world total emissions for the world is going up and Belgium is going down uh, based off the negative correlation but let's go ahead and check out Belgium Okay, so it seems to like leaving this criteria in. So we scroll down to Belgium. Let's go ahead and look at that. And you'll see here, 1985, they had 41. And it looks like it's been slowly decreasing. There is some years where it has increased. See a little peak here. Uh, but in general, it's actually going down. While, while the I'm guessing the one with the entire world is actually increasing. So if we go here you'll see that the world is actually increasing quite a bit. So you can see there, there's some uh, correlation. That's good, that's useful, that's handy. So let's go ahead and get rid of this equation filter. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna run some trend analysis. So basically I wanna be able to forecast what the next year is gonna look like. So in this case, what I have to do here is I have to create direct extract. I'm gonna say pre-2004, so I'm gonna take 2000 pre 2004 data to try to predict 2004. So I'm gonna go year is less than 2004, and then I'm gonna go 2004, and in this case I'm gonna say year year is equal to 2004. So essentially I'm taking 19 years of data, seeing how well 19 years of data can predict the 20th year, and then I'm gonna go and validate that afterwards. So there you go. Now we have 2004 and we have pre-2004. So now I'm going to take pre-2004 and I'm going to run a trend analysis. And then here I'm going to run it, trend it on carbon. And then here I'm going to select my audit units as country. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to generate a forecast of one year, which will be 2004. And then here I'm going to create, I'm going to create them all. So here, I'm, you should name them better, but in this case, it's just demonstration. So go ahead and do that. And you'll see here, here's uh, one particular country, Albany, Albania. Sorry, that was a really bad pronunciation, Albania. And you'll see here, the the trend fit is negatively correlated. You can see down here, as it is going down. Uh, but what you'll send, tend to see here is that they're predicting negative carbon emission, which is 
I guess if they're taking carbon out of the air as possible. Uh, but certainly you got to understand the constraints of, of these type of predictions. But let's go to Belgium, which we were looking at previously. And you can see here, we're going to see how well this actually correlates. So they're predicting on the 20th unit, which would be 2004, that it would be 25.94. And you can see here uh, the degree air degree of as well. So, okay, that's interesting. That's that's handy to note. We can also take a look here and take a look at some of the items, the the trend and the forecast. Here the 20th forecast and as well the air units. So, what we could simply do is actually take this and compare it to uh, to the to the actuals. So the actuals is going to be the 2004 database. So, if we go here, and we are going to match it based off of country, since there's only one unit of each. In this case, I only need the carbon. And then I'm going to call this forecast versus actual. There you go. And then you can do something. You can do some pretty interesting stuff. So you can call it variance. Uh, we're going to put it to two decimal places, and we're going to go carbon forecast minus carbon and as well we can do like a variance percentage and then here we can put two decimal places as well and we can simply just do variance over carbon to see how far off we were so you can see here some of them were dramatically off as well like immediately they were some were pretty small. Some of these forecasts were ridiculous, uh, but some of them were also uh, fairly accurate. Some of them were divided by zero. So still interesting to look at. Some of them were almost exactly on, like Denmark, for example, Croatia. Uh, some of them were very close, and then some of them were were very far off. And, but still, still useful and interesting to look at. And as well, you could change this to change it to something that you're more common common with so if we did um, here and times it by 100 probably be a little bit easier to look at you can see how far off it is uh, percentage wise so that's all I'm gonna cover you can see here we can do a lot of really interesting stuff um, but this is just to begin with if there are additional topics that you want me to cover feel free to leave it in the comment section below or check out my other videos where I cover some more complex topics uh, using idea caseware and if you have any questions uh, just let me know and uh, I look forward to speaking to you next time thank you